Hello friends, welcome to Planning P6. Hope you are doing well. Today I am here with a very important topic of the milestone. Here we have a project I have just created. Today we will discuss how we can understand the milestone, how we can add the milestone to the master schedule or the one schedule for the project schedule. Open the project. After the opening, I have just added here the one activity in Primavera P6. If you see the activity has been added, but if you see here the activity type in general or here you can add the activity type column, then you can see there are only finish milestone and start milestone. Basically, the milestone types are to start or finish. That is the start point or the finish point of the any activity, any of the projects that is start and the or any specific uh, WBS starting or finishing. So in the project we are using the different types of the milestone. If I use here, for example, first of all the project milestones, project milestone, then stages milestones, and then after that stages we can see it here the control milestone and then there are other is the payment milestones these are basically we are using it does not matter if that is mentioned in the your contract or not whatever over there you can use the milestones over there if for example these are the client requirement if the clients required that you must add the project milestone then in the master schedule maybe the different project if there are five projects so you will add the project milestones over there so stages for the specific projects now the stages for example uh, mobilization engineering and procurement then construction and then demobilization or commissioning the those start and finish are the now the stages milestone and then after that there is a controlled milestone this term as the project management we are using for a specific activity for example you are if you see in the mechanical for example they want to monitor the hydro testing activities or the uh, they want to monitor the any specific drawing or specific line they want to monitor the specific concrete foundation if you see the specific any slab uh, concrete pouring or anything they want to specially monitor that and client requirement on client requirement you have to add the the payment milestone some of the contracts required the payment milestone like the 50 percent 20 percent after the mobilization completion after the completion of the mobilization mostly the payment milestone are the finished milestone and these are all are the milestone like start and finish so let's move forward first of all we we will add for the master schedule then after uh, the milestone it can be it, i will define how we can add and how we can connect with between the activities so here i have created a sample project here i will delete the activity first of all and for example this milestone is our master schedule where the five projects are included so here i will go to the wbs's in the wbs i can see here the milestone i will add the five wbs's over there okay three four five so in this schedule our five projects are included we are preparing master schedule so that's why we need to add the project milestone so okay and okay now these are our five projects you can name it by the project one project two and three project zero zero one and then i will just copy from here and paste here two and then three okay and then four and at the last these are our now the 005 okay so here in the activities if you see here just refresh the you can see these are our five projects in the five projects now we can add how we can add the projects start and finish milestone for example we have to add the milestone so now we can add the uh, another wbs for the milestone specific milestone so here i will add the wbs right here with the same and i will move up to the up first you can add must add the here and now i will just add project you can say milestones project milestone whatever you can do it milestone okay if you want to capital you can write it so under the project milestone if you want to add more it's allowed it's up to you you will start the 
add the start and finish separately start and then finish milestone you can write start and finish milestone as well and also you can write like this one as well so start and finish how we will connect now now our wbs has been created just say here a5 uh, after the refreshing you can see here the milestone start and finish so here i will add for the for example we have five project and this is a master schedule so how we can add now in the master schedule start and finish so here i will just add two activities one activity one and then add one more activity two so here might be the activity here start start and then this one is finish okay start and finish this activity and this activity i just copy the activities and put to the okay okay and then also put there as well okay okay i have just created the project to understand a clear your concept if you are doing as on the actual schedule you have the activities so you can do it easily so here i will just add for the milestones i will add the activities i will add the activity for example project 001 start you can add under the milestone as well or you can add here as well so okay okay i will just do it uh, delete the activity project 002 name of the project you will write here the name of the project okay i will just copy both activities and add here again okay now project 003 start and then project 004 and now one more activity we will add for the project 005 okay okay project 005 that will be the project name i will just take the all activities and put here under the finish okay okay so i will just say here start to finish if i do the replacement it will do for the entire project so finish i will just copy from finish okay you can do it by the excel as well you can copy and paste from the excel and put import the activities over there so this now these are our project now i will just add here the column of the activity type you can do it by one by one from the bottom and also you can do it by this way i will just want to put over there apply and okay now this is our activity type you can see here the task dependent i will move the activity as a start milestone because these are the start of the project and do is fill down option and this one i will do the finish milestone and move up to the end fill down finish milestone so start milestones has the you can see here start milestone has the start date only and finish milestone has the only finish milestone now so now how we can connect with the project start and finish as we added over there so you can change it by from here as well activity type one by one if it's up to you how you are feeling comfortable so here first of all this project i will just open the relationships and i will assign the predecessors of the so i will assign the predecessor for example this is the for the project one start i will assign with this activity and give the relationship with the start to start not finish to start that will be the start to start when the activity will be started and this activity will be start as well so the second i will give the same as well for the activity project start to you can see here okay and then i will give it just do it like that so this is second and then third i will give it by the third project start to start i will, i have to do the relationship type here start to start and also you can add the relationship type as well here to change it by the start to start i will do next so here uh, this one is also start to start let leave we will do it by the fill down option and then this is a project number 4 i will go to the project 4 okay and then go to the project 5 and start like this way you can add the relationship to the activities so are the project so now we have to add the finish milestone so project 1 finish the same window i will open the and i will assign the predecessor of the activity to the finish so here what whatever finish to finish you can see you have option start to finish and finish to finish 
you can see our tutorial on the relationship types how we can what is the effect over there we have uploaded the relationship type tutorial that will be explained very well how you can use the relationship types so finish to finish with the okay and then the same as finish to finish okay and then this one is also whenever you will assign the finish to finish or finish milestone it will be hopefully automatically take the finish to finish until there is no relationship has been assigned finish to start or any start to start then it will take the activity as a start to finish so here i will just last i will add the okay so here we will change the start to start this one and this one also start to start so i will start the activity for example for the project 2 i will start the activity on 15th of january okay select the activity yes i want to move it you can see here the activity automatically 15th of january it will be move on when you will complete the activity it will be automatically completed so you have to select the activity first of all for the project 2 i will just finish the activity on 15th and then i will complete the activity on the time where it is located so if it is for five, five days six day whatever i will just do update it so the activity has been started and finished the activity and it will you can see here now it is go for the 16th of january and this is also going for the 16th of january so by this way when you will update the schedule and you have to run before that you have to run the schedule up to the date and then complete the activity over there so that will be taken by this way you have to connect the relationship between the milestone like this so for example now we are going to add the different type of milestone for example project we are taking this milestone as a one project and now we are going to add the different milestones over there for example these are now our stages project one we can say it's stages milestone if you are adding the stages milestone first of all it's up to you you will add under the milestone the same for example here the milestone then here the only milestone then one by one you will add stages project milestone stages milestone you will add as a wbs or you can write from here as a description of the milestone this is stage one or the mobilization phase start then stages under that under the one wbs if you want to be a good presentation then add the wbs's under that for example i will go here and add a wbs here just say milestones milestone then under the milestones i will say here the and then under that project milestones then i will go to another stages and then if that is required then under that stages i will just add here the controlled milestone for the specific activities control milestone and then after that i will add the another milestone here which is the payment milestone it is on the requirement if the contract required so i will add here payment milestone so these are the types now under the payment under the those milestones you can have option i will just refresh the project now where is that project milestone you can see here project milestone stages milestone controlled and payment milestone for example you will take the as a stages so you will add here the project start and finish under the stages stages start and finish as i described here whatever the very first activity start you will connect with the start milestone with the very first activity start and then what is the finish you will finish to finish with the very last activity of the stage or the wbs so then control milestone specific activity start you will connect with the specific activity start for example this activity starting on 15th of january and 16th of january it will be show here the 15th of january of the activity start and 16th of january finish of the activity so payment milestone for example the payment milestone is those milestone if there is a milestone you will get this after the on completion of this project one you will get the 20 percent of the payment so you will add a finish to finish milestone whenever the last activity of this wbs you will assign the payment milestone with the activity you will add the payment milestone with the activity and say that finish to finish whenever the last activity will finish to you are able to now in, submit your invoice or ipc in turn payment certificate or ipc you are able to submit so these are the four types of the 
milestone which required credit it does not matter planning does not have any specific standard so you have to follow the contract if the there is no contract they're not mentioned you have to add the control milestones stages milestones you need to incorporate on instruction of the client or consultant whatever they say you need to accept that and add the milestone like this way these are the major types of the milestone hopefully this tutorial will helpful for you people please like share and comment on our tutorials we are waiting for your feedbacks thanks for watching allah hafiz